la scrittura è un filtro. Writing is a filter through which we can understand the world. It's a journey into the mind of mankind. How writing affects the society. Tutto questo è All of this is essential for understanding how we want to leave our mark. I study undeciphered writing systems, and this is closely connected to the invention of writing around the world. Up until 40 years ago, we thought writing had been invented just once in history, in Mesopotamia, about 5,000 years ago. Our vision has changed a great deal today. We can identify four separate origins, contexts where men and women, human beings, managed to invent writing without any outside influence from pre-literate cultures that already had writing. So we call them ex novo inventions, as they're invented from scratch. A year ago, I put together a group of researchers that will eventually have 12 team members. Today, the team is at half capacity. We're working across disciplines so that we can understand how the invention of writing came about, on the one hand, and on the other, how we can decode these undeciphered writing systems. There are four undeciphered writing systems, Cretan hieroglyphic, Linear A, Cypro-Minoan, and the Phaistos disc. Actually, I also study other undeciphered writing systems from around the world. One comes from Easter Island, called Rongorongo. Another comes from the Indus Valley, called Indus Valley Script. Cretan hieroglyphic is the most ancient form of writing in Europe. The first inscriptions of Cretan hieroglyphic were found in Crete in the late 1800s. Its name comes from the supposed resemblance to its symbols in Egyptian hieroglyphics. Nevertheless, the differences between the two writing systems are becoming clearer and clearer. What we're still studying is the assignment of phonetic values to the signs and how we went from a sign with ideographic value to one with a phonetic value and whether we can also hypothesize the opposite development. The research project puts together a diverse, multidisciplinary analysis that includes archaeology, cognitive studies, linguistics, anthropology, digital humanities, and deciphering strategies linked to the world's undeciphered writing systems. We use a cutting-edge scanner that helps us create 3D models of the inscriptions of these undeciphered writing systems, especially those related to the Aegean. We can then create an interactive, versatile, and easy-to-use three-dimensional model, which we can zoom in and out in order to see the inscribed signs perfectly. This helps us with our deciphering strategies so we can read the signs. This scanner is an incredibly high-resolution tool that gives us a very accurate model in terms of geometry. It gives a reconstruction of the surface of our inscribed objects and, in particular, of the signs. Along with the scanner, we use a normal camera, which will allow us to obtain 3D models. They're less accurate, but they include textures and colors. And in this way, we'll have two 3D models, which we will then combine into one model in a subsequent step. In the end, we'll have a 3D model that is accurate geometrically, but also has colors. Sometimes it is hard to identify certain signs. They are hard to read. With 3D models, we can visualize these signs in a much less problematic way, which facilitates uh, the reevaluation of debatable readings, for example, when a sign is damaged or when we have a rare variant of, of the sign. These images, once collected in a virtual environment, virtuale, costituiscono un These images, once collected in a virtual environment, constitute a corpus that can be accessed by non-specialists allowing us to extend knowledge about this largely unknown writing to the general public. It's very difficult to reconstruct the history of the invention of writing, 
because it happened as far back as 5,000 years ago. We're very interested in the idea of recreating in vitro, in the laboratory, an experiment about how writing is invented. We asked a question that had never been asked before. What techniques, what strategies are put into place when creating a writing system? To answer this question, we decided to conduct an experiment. The idea is to go into a context where illiteracy is 99%, in Arunchal Pradesh, in India, with an anthropologist from the University of Venice, and study a sample group of people who are obviously trained on how to invent writing, but without giving them specific input and without suggesting anything about what mechanisms can be used to invent it. In this way, we'll be able to see if they choose ideographic writing, representing objects through images, or a mixture of ideographic and phonetic symbols. So we'll see which dimension of sound they decide to use. This experiment is very interesting, not only because it highlights what the linguistic mechanisms are, but because it suggests possible questions related to what writing will be like in a hundred years, for example. Will we use emojis as we do now when communicating via WhatsApp in such a pervasive and lively way? Or will we go back to a super linear, super stylized system, a sort of shorthand? I think we're moving towards a trajectory of hyper-iconicity. We have a desperate need to communicate through images. So this has little to do with the question, are we going back to hieroglyphics like 5,000 years ago? No, hieroglyphs have never left us. Iconicity is an integral, lively, simple, spontaneous, and natural part of the way we communicate.